Welcome to season two of Golf Mobility Pro. This season, we're giving you all new tips to help you move better and play better with the help of fitness professionals, medical professionals, and golf pros along the way. We're kicking the season off with an episode on the pre-shot routine, ways to prepare both your body and your mind to approach the first tee box. Part of preparing for the first tee is calming both the mind and the nervous system. And we'll do this by practicing a couple of different breathing exercises to help you get there. In this example, I'm on my back, but you can also do this sitting in a chair, in your golf cart, or even standing. If you're on your back, bend your knees so that your feet are flat on the floor and place your hands on the rib cage. As you inhale, you're going to breathe into the space below the hands so you're expanding the ribs from east to west. As you exhale, feel the hands gently soften and lower as the ribs come back together. As you continue to breathe in this pattern, you're moving the breath deeper into the diaphragm, calming both body and mind and helping you focus as you address the first tee. Next, we'll practice a three-part breath. On your back, extend your legs out long and let them relax. If this becomes painful on the lower back, bend the knees and put your feet flat on the floor, just like we did for the first exercise. Take a deep inhale to prepare and then exhale completely. On your next inhale, breathe into the upper part of the chest near the collarbones. And then exhale, let the chest and the collarbone soften. You'll move the breath down one step. Inhale, breathe into the rib cage, expanding the ribs from east to west and then exhale, let the ribs fall back together. Take it one step further, breathing into the belly. So inhale, let the belly swell, and then exhale, let the belly fall and soften. And then we'll combine these three steps. Inhaling, starting by breathing into the chest. Continue to inhale as you expand the ribs, fill the belly, and then start by exhaling the chest, soften the ribs, exhale, empty the belly. As you continue to breathe in this pattern, if this becomes stressful for you at any time, just relax, release, and start again. My name is Ian Enright. I'm the assistant golf professional here at Wallingford Country Club. We're going to talk today a little about setting up a good pre-shot routine. The first thing that you want to do when you set up for a good pre-shot routine is visualize the shot that you want to hit. Whether you want to hit a draw or a fade, whatever the hole sets up for you, you want to try to execute that shot. So when you have trouble on the golf course, whether it's out of bounds or a water hazard, one thing that I always like to try to do is tee it up on the same side of the hazard. So if there's out of bounds to the left, favor the left side of the tee box. If there's out of bounds to the right, favor the right side of the tee box. The second part of a good pre-shot routine is picking a target. The more specific this target can be, the better your shots are gonna end up. If your goal is to try to hit it in the fairway and you miss your fairway, you're gonna be in the rough but if you aim for a really specific tree, or it could be a stripe that the mower left in the fairway, if you aim for that, you're gonna hit better shots. The third step in a good effective pre-shot routine is getting the club face aligned with the target. An easy way to do this is to pick an intermediate point 12 to 16 inches in front of the golf ball and align the club face with that. So to recap, for a good pre-shot routine, visualize the shot you wanna hit, pick a very specific target, and then when you get set up to the ball, align that club face with an intermediate point, six to 12 inches in front of the ball, and you'll play better golf. Dr. Matthew Myers here from Velocity Sports Medicine, here to give you your sports medicine tip. One popular technique that patients come in for is cupping. Most therapeutic techniques that hands-on doctors like myself do are very compressive in nature, meaning that we're pushing into the muscle tissue to effect a change. Cupping is a technique where we put a cup on top and decompress the area by using some suction to take some pressure off of the muscles, separate out the tissue layers, restore blood flow, and thus oxygen, which are the biggest healing elements for the body. It's safe and effective for most people. As always, I would say, touch base with your doctor to make sure it's a technique for you. If you rush into the tee, one of the best things you can do is to swing the golf club. Take five swings left-handed and take five swings right-handed. Whatever side you are not dominant in, do that side first. The second thing you can do if you're rushing to the tee is take the golf club, put it a little wider than shoulder width, and you're gonna bend from your hips and you're gonna let the club slide down the back of your legs. This is gonna help load the hamstring and glute muscles, which are essential towards keeping you feeling good throughout the round of golf so you can stay away from low back pain 
and keep that power source throughout the round. After that, what you're gonna do is you're gonna reach the golf club all the way up to the sky and make sure your shoulders are retracting backwards as you do so. And then you're gonna add a little bit of rotation with that with the shoulders retracted back. If you enjoyed this episode, please give it a like and share it with a fellow golfer. And subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming episodes. And if you're looking for more, click on the link below to enroll in the Ultimate Golf Fitness Program, a 12-week progressive course to help you improve mobility, stability, and power.